Hi, I'm Larissa Reed from SellingMyHome.tv. Today I'm going to talk about smell. We all know that uh, smell is a very emotive thing. It can bring back a lot of good memories, it can bring back bad memories. What you might not realise is that when people come and look at your house with thinking about buying it, they would probably be aware of smells that you might not be aware of. Because you live there all the time, you become accustomed to them. It doesn't mean you're dirty, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the way you live, but there are things that we just can't help. For example, uh, if we've got a pet, people will be able to smell the pet no matter what. So all you need to do is just take your pet with you when you go out for the open house and remove any bedding, litter trays or um, food. And that should sort out the problem. Uh, the other thing is your own bedding in your bedroom. If you uh, keep your windows closed, particularly during the winter months, sometimes it can just get a bit of a smell to it. So the best idea is just before the open home, get it, get the windows open, give things a bit of a shake, leave them out in the sun for a while if you can. Definitely make sure that there are clean sheets on um, and that should help your bed, bedroom smell very fresh. Um, carpets. Now if you've had your carpets for a very long time, it might be worth getting them professionally steam cleaned for the sale. That would get rid of any uh, odours that might be there. Fresh air is an important thing, just like I said, particularly during winter, but even during summer, just make sure that uh, every so often you open all the doors and windows and just let the air get through. That ought to clear out any anything that's left in there that smells. Uh, now, as far as making your house smell nice, there's loads of things you can do, and I'm sure you're probably aware of these things like scented candles and um, the diffuser reeds. You can do that if you want to. It's all, it's always pleasant, although try and choose something fairly neutral. Don't choose something too strong because that can in turn turn people off. Uh, you can even go as far as getting the smell of baking bread or fresh coffee if you really want to, but that is a little bit cliched these days and people are kind of fairly aware of what you're doing when you're doing that sort of thing these days. Um, but that's about it. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything that you're concerned about or anything I've missed, let me know. Thank you.